What's up, everybody? Steve Looney here from GraphicDesignerTips.com. This is episode number two of my new Adobe Muse Quick Tip tutorial series. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over very briefly the canvas that you're seeing on your screen for Adobe Muse. It's very simple and it's very similar to the other Adobe programs. You know, they are all in the same family, of course. And if we start on the uh, left row over here, you're going to have your main tools. Now, Muse has been around for a few years and you only have six tools in here. Okay. I'm always wondering if in the future there's going to be more tools. Um, there's always room for improvement. But you know what? I liked looking at this at first and be like, wow, there's only six tools to choose from. That's pretty cool. So along the top here is your area where every time you select an element, it's going to change and give you the various you know, options that you can choose from with those elements or whatever you're working with in the website. Uh, you obviously have your main file, all this stuff up here. And if you look, there's really not a lot of stuff. I mean, there is a lot of stuff, but the, you know, it's, it's pretty compact in this program. You're going to notice that you have your rulers on the top and the bottom. Uh, you're going to also have this area on the right, which is you're going to be your tools and widgets area. Now, this area is basically going to be constructed of everything that is in here. So if it's not checked, you're not seeing it. So if we click a line right now, you're going to see a line pops up right on the bottom. OK, so the last thing about the canvas is you actually have your four main areas. You have the plan mode, you have the design mode, the preview mode and the publish mode. All right, so the three main areas really are the design mode, which is what you're seeing right now, which is command I to get to a keyboard command shortcut, the plan mode, which is command M. All right, now your planning mode has your site structure, which you're gonna be adding to your master pages and the different layouts that your site can be, desktop, tablet, and phone, all right? Or the preview mode, which is gonna be command P. Now previewing the website in Muse is exactly what it says is, it's previewing the site within the program without having to actually upload the site to any type of browser or anything for preview, which you can also do, and I'll touch on in a later episode. So this is an actual live site. I can click on a page and you're going to see what happens. It's going to go to that page within the site. Cool, right? To get out of preview, very simply hit escape, and now you're back to your design mode. So that is the basics on the on the canvas for this program. It is actually it's it's just a robust program, but it's actually so like I said earlier compact and you know even three years ago when I started using this, I, I was I was pretty in awe about how compact it was compared to what I could actually do with the program. So let me know in the comments what you thought of this video or ideas for future videos in this series. Uh, definitely subscribe to my channel and um, check out my course. This episode right here is done on an actual website a part of my new adobe muse course uh where you can download an actual this actual live site work on it side by side and own the template for you to use in your personal projects or commercial projects so have a great night everybody i will see you for episode three peace